happening guys Martin Martinez back again so just a very quick video for you back now I was doing my little traveling we'll be traveling again at some point but yeah back now and it's clear to me having had that time to travel see different things not actually spending that much money I mean you know if you think about it if you live in a city center you don't necessarily really need a car or such necessarily if you're in a city center usually that's the way in most places um, I would think when well, again we're talking in Europe not necessarily most places but that being said, you know, you don't necessarily need to, you know, you need you used to have a Navigo when I was in Spain. I don't know what to call it anymore, but you know, your bus pass, your metro card, whatever it may be. And um, you know, once you've got that, you know, all the extra costs with traveling the car, with petrol, with with um servicing the car, road tax, all these different things, I guess that's not going on. You don't have to worry about that. So again, a little time that I had in Barcelona, I could see how I was able to actually kind of save money not spending necessarily as much. Yes, you could go out and have a meal with friends, that's gonna happen. But that being said, most of the times, realistically, once you've had your breakfast and usually your evening meal, you know, for me, especially like lunch isn't really that big a deal. So, you know, I don't really even eat breakfast, I'm still doing intermittent fasting, necessarily eating that much um, by way of, um, you know, excess going out, lots of sort of lavish food, keeping it very simple, uh, especially because I'm watching the calories. But that being said though, I digress. That being said, the focus has to be to reduce the costs. That's what I'm noticing. You tell me if I'm wrong, you tell me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm noticing. Focus has to be to reduce your costs, reduce your cost of living if you can. It's not possible if you've got a family and different things going on, but try to reduce the excessive spending, try to reduce unnecessary spending, you know, try to cook more than you, than you eat out. I think pretty much at this point, like I'm eating out maybe at the most, maybe once a week, if even that. And that's just because it's more convenient. You know, you, you go out, you meet friends, whatever else like that. But most of the time I'm cooking my own meals um, and I try not to even buy sandwiches and different things like that. I try and cook my own food if I can. It's not always possible. That's the reality of life, but it is what it is. But one guy was saying on YouTube, and again, I'm just asking this question as well. He was saying 10,000 pounds, if you don't have 10,000 US dollars at least, I don't know what that is in English, it might be about eight, nine grand or so. But he was saying that if you don't have that, you're broke. And I kind of understand that to a point. Most people won't have £10,000 saved up. Most people won't have that type of money just available. Um, if they do, it's probably tied up in something else or some type of asset, maybe, who knows. But, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't have that cash. So, you know, if you can reduce your spending, that's the key thing. That's what I'm noticing. But I think in the cost of living in the UK, I keep saying the same thing, but I'm just thinking how expensive it's supposed to be. And everything seems to be going up. So for me right about now, I'm thinking, hmm, what's the exit strategy? Is there an exit strategy? You know, technically speaking, until I'm able to leave this place or, you know, go and travel or do something else, um, you know, it kind of feels like everything is just the same. We're just on the same cycle. Nothing's actually, I'm not saying progressing, but nothing's moving forward necessarily for quality of life at, once you reach a certain point. So I'm not knocking anyone who's finding their way. I'm not knocking anyone who's struggling you know, I know it's not easy, whatever you do, um, you know, and again, this guy saying £10,000, you don't have that. I'm going to say £10,000, are you broke? And a lot of us definitely aren't in that box. So there's some rant maybe from me, guys, leave your thoughts down below. I kind of think, man, I need some exit strategy. But at the same time, we'll see what comes next. Because I think, again, with this government election, if things going to go on, it's just going to get even worse. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. I appreciate everyone who's commented. And final one again, why am I not doing fragrance videos? Because my last move done from there, there's no point in me sitting down. I'm, everything I'm talking about now, I'm purposely not buying any type of fragrances, so just bear that in mind. And if I do, it's very rarely, very rarely if I do. I'm literally trying to reduce all of that I have. So kind of not really what I keep talking about fragrances because it's a little bit redundant now. There's so much more going on in life. Okay, guys, see you soon. Peace.